hello everyone welcome back to my unreal engine tutorial series so today i'm gonna improve my detection meter like this when i rotate my camera like this the detection meter will rotate towards the enemy's direction and also when the detection is full it will be it will be blinking in red and go away so here is the demonstration again starts to fill and blink in red and vanish so now I am fully detected and as always this episode is sponsored by these generous patreons thank you very much for the support you guys are giving me okay so this is what we have at the moment when I go here it starts detecting and when fully detected it just stays like that and the other guy equipped the weapon so the next step is making the detection meter blink in red before it vanish so that uh, it confirms that the enemy has been we have uh, the player has been fully detected by the enemy okay let me open my detection meter widget and if you haven't followed this detection meter tutorial up to this point you can refer to the previous tutorial there i have defined uh, showed you how to develop this from the beginning okay so here i set the scalar parameter value fill amount in my material so when the level is larger than one i'll do a branch here when the level is larger than one I will do something like this let me check uh, if I can change the color yeah I can no issue so if this is true I'll do a do once note because this part should happen only once the blinking part and let's get a reference to this detection meter and set color and opacity I'll change this to red like this and add a delay of uh, 0.1 second and again set this to white and loop add another delay here and while this is happening I do this in a sequence note and in the other part I'll add a delay of two seconds. Is that too much? No, the no, I don't think so. And here, uh, I need the way to de stop this, so I'll add a branch like this and blink. A new variable the default value must be true and here I'll set blink to false like this and after that I need to remove this from the parent okay and let's check how it works
started detecting and blinking and it's gone right so yeah that's what I wanted now the next thing I want to do is this when this detection is happening if I to turn my camera like this it should uh, this detection meter should be rotated into the to show the direction of my enemy is watching at me looking at me so how to do that well for that I I am going to use I'm planning to use this angle of the canvas panel yeah this one I'm gonna rotate around so how to rotate it around first uh, let's check can we actually change that all right in the tick let me first check that I can yeah we need to set okay first I need to make this canvas panel a variable right and set render angle is this the is it referring to yeah I think that's the one no right so okay to determine this angle I need a reference to the enemy character and that I don't have it a reference such reference so yeah let's go to the place that we create a request creating of creation of this widget it happens in this AI human BT like this start detection and for this one for this start detection method I'll add an input like this uh, enemy promote it to a actor okay now here as the enemy I can return get road. not like this get controlled pawn and use it as the enemy okay and in start detection implementation of the HUD now let's open the HUD PP UI PP HUD here I get a reference to enemy I now I need to set this enemy Um, I need a way to set it I'll add a new variable enemy in the widget detection meter set enemy okay and return now here in the tick if I have a valid enemy actor mm -hmm, I now I need a way to 
calculate the angle from camera position and the direction to the enemy here let me explain let's say this is the enemy and this is the player wait I need to use red for enemy yeah this is the enemy and this is this is the player okay and let's say this is the camera I can't move it okay let's say this is the camera and this is the camera's facing direction so it can be like this or it can be like camera can be like this or like this depending on my mouse rotation mouse movement so the angle that I need to calculate is would be something like this let's say this is the camera so this is the face in direction and the rotation must be to this one maybe something like this if we check the positive angles and if this is the camera then the angle would be something like this so how to calculate that so to understand that let's get player camera manager and get camera rotation let me get some space and I'll split this I think I only need to check this yo and also get camera location and find look at rotation to look at the enemy get at location and split this one as well now let's I'll disconnect this for now and let's print these values so that we can figure out a way to do the calculation that we need to do a right let's see what are the values we get all right right I think this is what I have to do I'll disconnect this one and connect it like this and get this one minus this and set it as the angle so it should rotate towards the enemy maybe I should move this up a little bit okay let's see how it works right okay it rotates to the enemy's direction now alright so this is the exact effect I needed let me show you again all right let's rotate it now towards the enemy okay so I'm gonna stop it here today 
and thanks for watching i'll soon upload a source code update with this feature and my patreon page and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of my patreon club link would be in the description below and also uh, as you already know that i was working on the inventory system for a while and i stopped it because uh, I was not satisfied with the design of my inventory and so I'm working on a new design for my inventory so after this after I'm done with the AI part I will resume the development of inventory system and see you in the next episode goodbye